To make foams, all you need are the basic natural ingredients, air, and a siphon bottle. The siphon bottle, a key element of this technique, is similar to a conventional whipped cream canister that has been modified to include a sealed container and compressed air cartridges. The process followed to prepare foam using a fatty or dairy product, as seen here with cream, is extremely simple. Once the siphon bottle is ready, just load it with an air cartridge and shake. To successfully obtain a foamy texture, the foam must be left to rest inside the siphon bottle for three hours before serving, as this gives the cream proteins time to take in air and emulsify, thereby acquiring the desired volume and density. The great revolution in this field has been in the ability to make foams from any kinds of food, even non-fatty ones, through the use of gelatins, which are rehydrated in water prior to use. Part of the liquidized strawberries, which are used as the base for this foam, are heated to 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, so that the gelatin melts and gives the mixture some texture. It is then mixed with the rest of the strawberry liquid so that the end result retains all of its delicious natural flavor. From this point, the steps are the same as with the cream foam. The big difference is that in this case, it is the properties of the gelatin and not of the fats or dairy products that trap the air, giving the food a foamy texture. <laughs>